upon broken. Hey guys, what's going on? Patrick here, aka Dark Awesome Guy. I'm so sorry that this is a super delayed Animal Crossing stream. I was supposed to stream yesterday, but um, yeah, things came up, and um, well, family stuff. And then uh, Wednesday, <laughs> Leslie, thank you so much for sharing the stream. Um, I was supposed to stream at 7:30 today, uh, but uh, a couple things happened. Family matters. Um, got a long discussion with my parents. Uh, thanks for sharing the stream again, Leslie. Um, and then I was eating dinner, trying to eat some leftover Korean food, and I was like, okay, I've got some leftover kimchi in a jar that I can eat. And then uh, it slipped out of my hands, and it, boom, bam, everywhere. It got on my clothes, it got on the floor, it got underneath my fridge, like the little grate that's in the front of the fridge. Oh, it was everywhere it was it sucked i had to take off the grade had to clean it change clothes take a shower and blah 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 blah, blah. but i'm here now happy to wednesday <laughs> chill to wednesday as uh, leslie would say <laughs> so let's get into it i'm gonna go ahead and load this up well how are you guys doing happy wednesday to you i know it's like nine o'clock central time by the way if you're not wanting something relaxing my friend Demonic Born Gaming is actually doing some Among Us tonight, so be sure to check out his uh, channel, Demonic Born Gaming, if you want to play some Among Us. And we'll raid his channel in a little bit, if um, you know he's still alive. Um, Leslie, happy to see you too. Thank you so much for joining. Mm, I let me just respond to Demonic Born here. Gotta get some animal. Crossing out. Wow, that took forever to load. Okay, here we are. Animal Crossing! As always, I have a little reading assistant here if you want to relax. Just use it as a, um, a guide to help you relax. It's based on the four second in, four second hold, four second out, four second hold. Um, it slows down your breathing, it uh, releases tension, relieves stress, things like that. So feel free to use that throughout the stream. I will do a little bit of guided meditation in a little bit. Uh, come really probably like an hour and a half. Okay, so Demonic Born Game is going to be going on for like an hour and a half. So maybe I'll join in in like, what, 45 minutes? An hour? Something like that? We got to do some improvements to our island today. Hi, Isabel. Good evening. By the way, I got these uh, gigantic green grapes. Hey, Leslie, thanks for sharing the stream. Um, I got these gigantic green grapes. I don't know if you guys saw that um, the Korean dad video where he's like, he went to a Korean supermarket. He found a bunch of grapes that were like $30 for a bunch of grapes. But then I saw these gigantic green grapes at the supermarket. They look kind of brownish because of the green screen effect. But um, they're pretty green, like a lime greenish color. They're, they weren't thirty dollars, that's for sure. I bought these at um, where did I buy these? Um, Target. Yeah, I bought these at Target. <laughs> um, and they're gigantic and they're sweet. Um, worth it, in my opinion. Oh. Horoscope. Good luck. 
We gotta find a money tree. See if we can um, bury 99,000 bells and see if it triples that amount. Does it work? I don't know. Can anyone? Oh, I just noticed. Isabel doesn't have the ice drink anymore. She's drinking coffee. Just a piece of grape came out of my mouth. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> These grapes are really good. Um, yeah, I wonder if she's drinking coffee now because it's winter, cold time, or it's because people are thinking she's drinking alcohol or something like that. I really want to know what the 30 grapes taste like, says Leslie. Yes, me too. Oh, man, 30 bucks? I mean, yeah, once in a while you gotta treat yourself, like, to a nice steak dinner or, like, an outing or what have you. Uh, Benji, thank you so much for liking the stream. How are you? Happy Wednesday to you. Um, no more Bloody Mary. I thought it was like uh, a whiskey on the rocks or like a Long Island iced tea that Isabel was drinking. Um, yeah, look how big this grape is. It's like as big as my nose. Here, let me put it in selfie mode so you can see. It's pretty big. Gordon, thank you so much for following. How are you? I'm comparing grape sizes with my nose. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Oh, uh, cotton. Oh, Alyssa May, I have tried those. The cotton candy grapes, so good. It's it's a it's a. I wouldn't say it's like super cotton candyous. It's it's very sweet. That's for sure. If they're ripe, um, I my cousin gave me one, and they were like they had s sh seeds. Benji, thank you so much for sharing the stream. I really much appreciate appreciate that. Thank you. Um, Gordy Gaming! <laughs> yes! Hey! Comparing grape sizes. Hey, you want to compare grape sizes? <laughs> this is supposed to be a relaxing stream. That, look, look, look at it. It says it's bigger than my eye! Look at that! Ah. Mm, eyeball. It looks like a greenish brown on stream because of the green screen effect, but it's, it's greener than it is. It's greener in real life. But, yeah. <laughs> cotton candy, uh, cotton candy grapes. They're, they are delicious. <laughs> Dalton, hey guys, demonic born Jamie in the house. Just like I was saying, if you guys want to play some Among Us, he's going to be streaming. So be sure to check out his um his channel. Dalton, if you want to go ahead and post the link in the comments, feel free. Make sure you give a follow to Demonic Born Gaming. Lately, he's been playing some uh, Assassin's Creed, uh, some Among Us. <gasps> Melba, you better not be moving out. Melba? Melba? I've been daydreaming lately about starting a... Hmm... No, Melba! I thought we were getting close! I can't, I can't, I haven't gotten her picture yet. Okay. She just gave me that nickname of Lollipop. Actually, I think she has a little crush on me. <laughs> Let me... <laughs> I wonder if I saved the letters. Okay, yeah, I'm surprised. Maybe maybe she's leaving because I have... I've scorned her, um... Her letters. Sometimes I just like being alone, but there's so much... Uh, there's such a thing as too much of a good thing. Eventually, the quiet gets to me, and I need some company. That was a hint, by the way, in case you didn't notice. Your needy friend, Melba. Hmm? Could she have a crush on me? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. There you go. Um, hey Gordy, yes, thank you Leslie, thank you so much. Um, yeah, anytime, usually there's a, uh, I haven't start, oh my god, I missed my dancing. Um, star dance is when I usually dance, um, when people donate stars. But yeah, it's, it's fun. Here's another one from Melba. What are you up to right now? Something fun? You always have the greatest ideas, so I was thinking of you, and I guess I'm writing to ask if we can plan to do something together soon. Yours truly, Melba. Hmm, it's another sign. What else? I had another one. I think I accidentally deleted one where she was like... Uh, no, that one wasn't much. Um, I was out for a walk on the beach just now when I remembered a funny thing you said once, and it made me smile all over again. I thought you should know that, so that's why I sent you this note. That's a really sweet thing. Even if you're not crushing on someone, I think that's a really sweet thing to say. Like, Just the mere thought of a friend or a loved one makes you smile. I think that's... If you're, especially if your love language is words of affirmation, that's a really nice thing to say, in my opinion. Uh, Monica says, I just barely celebrated Turkey Day on my, I'm so behind. No worries. Monica, the thing is like, I know it's snowing right now. The first time it started snowing, I, I literally screamed because I was so excited. Monica is online. Um, 
Yeah, I don't think we get a lot of the Christmas decorations until like December 15th, like in six days or something like that. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, yeah, so like you have to wait until like the trees have like Christmas lights in them before you can shake them. Once they have Christmas lights, you can shake the trees and ornaments fall out. I mean, yeah, sure, you can time travel to it if you want, but um, but yeah, December 15th. Uh, so, last we left this island, as you're all familiar with, my long bridge here, um, been trying to get your DOAs. Yeah, definitely, you're gonna need the ornaments from the trees, but not until they get lit up with Christmas lights. So, um, I'm starting to expand and update the villager area. Let's see, iron fencing. So, I gotta put the flooring down. So, the bridge no longer just goes right, it also goes left, which goes to this bridge. Which I'm starting another villager area. It used to be all flat land on this side with a rose garden in the middle. I don't know if you guys remember that. But so far, Dalton, thank you so much for liking the stream. Um, I put three. I'm not sure how I feel about this fencing, but I put three on the front, like beachfront properties. And then what I'm gonna have is this U shape pattern that goes up and up and around. Um, and basically there's just gonna be like a little garden slash foyer 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 <laughs> in the middle here maybe even the rock garden um, but yeah I'm very limited on space so I'm trying to make it work out but yeah just a little foyer here surrounded by houses on both sides I think that'd be pretty cool like if you can look down into the foyer there'll be like a rock garden maybe a body of water a fountain waterfall something in the middle but yeah that's that's what I'm trying to do Speaking of which, this house finally moved, so I can move another one. So I think today we'll do some pathing and uh, put some down here. And then we'll move another house. Um, let's check in with the shop first, see if there's anything good on sale. Um, do I have wrapping paper? Okay, I need some wrapping paper. A little Christmas tree in front of the next door. That's so cool. Yeah, what are you guys working on in your Animal Crossing? towns have you guys already i know like leslie has already time traveled forward and um gotten some of the christmas decorations so it's very 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 cool um all right just catching up on some messages here but yeah i'm curious to know what you guys are doing but welcome guys thank you so much for watching if you're new to my channel my name is patrick aka dorky awesome guy i usually stream animal crossings on tuesdays chill tuesdays but like I said, I had some things come up. Ooh, I have that arcade machine already. Um, I do want this robot though. Um, so yeah, it's chill Tuesday on a Wednesday. <laughs> so I hope you give me a follow, subscribe, wherever you're at. Facebook, YouTube, Twitch. I'm broadcasting on all three channels. I'm trying to reach the magic number of a thousand followers. I do want to give out like custom stickers that people can put in comments, um, subscriptions so people can support the stream, things like that. Monica finally finished your museum entrance. Whoa, Merchy, thanks for liking the stream. Mr. Chicago himself, how are you? By the way, like I said, if you guys want to play some Among Us, Demonic Born Gaming is, gonna, is streaming tonight. Be sure to follow his page. Yeah, Merchy, how's it going? Mr. Let's Gaming with Angel in the house, ladies and gentlemen. Um, okay, so I always want to have wrapping paper on hand so I can give wrap gifts to villagers. I get these compression tights. Oh, you can't see them. They're underneath. Oh, well, that's probably good because it's warm. <laughs> oh, Mary and you watching together. Hey, Monica, thank you so much for liking the stream. Hi, Mary. Hi, Merchy. How you guys doing? Monica, do you want to show off your island? <laughs> Alright, what am I gonna- I'm gonna- I'm gonna check in everywhere. Gonna check in Abel's- in the Abel sister shop. See if there's any cool clothes, new designs, things like that. Um, yeah. Mm! What is this white square? Post-op patch. Interesting. No, I'm good. Hmm. Let's say hi to Sable, though. Made it to Wednesday, yes! 
So silly. Monica says she'll open up. Cool! We'll check out Monica's island in a little bit. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at these biker jackets. Mm. Mm. Wow. Well, I kind of like holiday sweater. Yeah, I think I'll get that one, the green one. And then... I wish this told you, like, how many you currently own, you know? Meta! Thank you so much for liking the stream! Happy Wednesday to you! How you doing? Because I wish you could see which ones you already own so you don't buy multiples. Do I have khakis? I don't know! <laughs> buy slacks, I guess. <laughs> oh my god, this festive tree dash! Oh, I wish I could wear that with the... I thought that was just a skirt. Yeah, that works. <laughs> Mary says hello. Hi, Mary. Hope you guys have been doing well and enjoying finally together time. I'm so happy for you guys. I know, Merchy, you were trying to get to Chicago and this whole year with the pandemic and stuff. I'm just so happy you guys are finally reunited and it feels so good. <laughs> what else is on sale? I think this is pretty good. Oh, well, I'm wearing the Christmas sweater. It's all good. <laughs> How's the audio, by the way? Is the game audio too loud? Too soft? Oh, looks like it might be a little too loud. Okay, cool. Alrighty. So, hi, I'm your Korean dad. $30 grapes. Just kidding. They're huge, though. <laughs> See? I wonder if I can get two. Put them for eyeballs. <laughs> Wait, I can't see, but do the stream at the same time. There you go. Should I put in selfie mode? I'm grape, abadi, abadai. <laughs> mm. Monica's Island is open. Alright, let us put on our mask before we visit. Alyssa May, thank you so much for liking the stream. So yeah, later on this week, um, Among Us returns in, in uh, Thursday Sus Days here on Dorky Awesome Guy. And on Saturday, Jackbox Games. Um, we did play a new game called Codenames on Saturday. I don't know if you guys caught that. I know Alyssa was there, Leslie was there. Um, but yeah, it, it, it was a blast. And I think my concern now is that we did Jackbox games for like four or five hours straight, but now that there's code names, when we played code names, it took like two hours, two and a half hours, something like that. So it was like half the stream. Don't get me wrong, I had fun with all of it. But my concern now is that, um, you know, people are so used to playing Jackbox games um, every Saturday night, and I wonder if either we should move code names to another night, like another game night, or if we just should maybe just split game nights on Saturday. Half Jackbox games, half code names. Um, let me know what you guys think, because um, we're definitely going to play code names again, whether it's this Saturday or not. But I'm curious to know your feedback. You know, when we should play it, what day of the week is good for you guys. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let me know. Mmm, grapes are so good! All right, let's go visit Monica's Island. Let's check out her new museum area. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Marchie says, I agree it should be split. Sounds good. That's what I'm thinking too. But I know... Oh, excuse me. There were some people that were expecting that we would play Jackbox again. And they didn't come into code names, so I kind of feel bad because I, I guess I didn't set expectations from the beginning. Maybe I'll just say that like Saturday, first two and a half hours is gonna be Jackbox. The next two and a half hours will be code names. You know, Game Attack, go go go! Hi, how are you doing? Leslie says I totally beat down for two game nights. I would be too. Like I, um, Linda, thank you so much for liking the stream. How you doing? Um. I always, I'm always down for game nights. 
hundred percent. Um, so I'm wondering. That leaves then that leaves the question: What day of the week would be good? Like Friday night. Friday night would be good. Hmm. Game attack! I see you. <laughs> Love that idea. Hey, Linda. Wait, which idea do you like? The split or the two game nights, Linda? Wait, what? Wait, Monica, do you have a... <coughs> oh, excuse me. Do you have a dodo code or are you online? Linda says most of my jobs are on weekends. Okay. Wednesday could be good. Like, tonight? Not, not tonight we're going to start, but I mean like Wednesdays could be good. We'll call it... Wacky Wednesdays or something. Did I put local? <laughs> no wonder. <laughs> I'm a little absent-minded. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right. Uh, why don't you just give me a whole menu of all the things I can choose? Uh, okay. I want to visit someone. Online play. Okay, there. <laughs> sorry, Monica. Roger. Leslie says, I will get super strong cheeks from smiling so much. Yeah, I feel like my, my face has gotten tougher and rounder thanks to smiling and laughing so much because of game nights. Seriously, like every Saturday night, by the time I'm done streaming, I'm like just like, ugh, ugh, just like trying to relax. Uh, search for a friend. Uh, Linda says could do either. Two game nights instead of split. Yeah, you know what? That's not a bad idea. If you guys are down for two nights a week, if you're free like on Wednesday nights, I'd totally be down for that. I mean, my Wednesdays are free as they are. Um, so, we'll have to figure something out. But yeah, Codenames in of of itself is a, is a nice, long game that you can enjoy. And um, it's just a word-guessing game. And it's like, it's a whole team aspect. And um, yeah, no, it was, it was a lot of fun. So, I think... At least this Saturday, maybe we'll do another split so people can get a feel. And then I'll advertise like, yeah, the next time we'll be playing Codenames is Wednesday, for example. So that that way, at least it'll introduce the idea of Wacky Wednesdays or whatever on Codenames, like another game night. Among Us is too much pressure, so I don't count Thursday. Yes. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at Monica's Island as we fly over it. Look at this view. I always love this. <gasps> you have... Bo? Is that Bo? What was that? Um. Oh, I really like this. Um. Oh, well, I'll show you that. Monica, I really like how you set up the um hedges surrounding flowers. Yeah, Linda. Um, you know, Among Us isn't isn't always for everyone. Like it's it's one of those games where you have to lie and call people liars and debate hey Monica all yellow wow it's like spring on your island how's it going I think I'm overdressed <laughs> I love the random sitting it's just like out of nowhere all right Mon, do you want to show us around uh, Murchie says, come do year. I'm revising my schedule. Murchie is Angel from Let's Game with Angel. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what you have for the new year, Murchie. 2021, new year. Uh, new things to introduce. You know, we always got to keep improving our channel and upping our game. Things like that. So, uh, Pantone color of the year. The yellow. Oh, is that what it is for 2020? Someone's on their way. Oh, we got a party going. 2020 Pantone color of the year. It, it oh, it is. Look at that. It's um. Eh, eh, eh. Wait, classic blue. Oh wait, let me look. 2021. Uh, Merchy from Scarif. Hey, Merchy, come on down. You're the next guest in Monica's Island. <laughs> 2021. Oh, it's um. What is it called? Hang on. It is yellow. Illuminating? Oh, here. Let me see if I can share this with you guys. Bookmark. Show bookmarks. 
Don't show bookmarks. Twenty twenty was the true blue. Yes, twenty twenty is blue. Twenty twenty one is the yellow, illuminating. Yeah, and the year before that, I think, was the uh, purple. Uh, let me see if I can do display. Welcome, Merchie. Oh, he's wearing his uh, Christmas as well. Okay, where's my window capture? Add. Window capture. Add source. There's a window capture. All right. I show you. I show you. Pantone color of the... Oh, God! Covered my space. All right. So, yeah. Oh, God. There's two. Um, yeah, Pantone color of the year. It's this one. 2020. It's illuminating. Uh, and the ultimate gray. Oh, there's two? Two independent colors that highlight how different elements come together to support one another. Wow. I like it. It's fresh. Uh, yeah, 2018 was purple. Yeah, I remember because 2018 was when I wanted to make my profile picture purple. The Dorky Awesome Guy logo. Um, and then... Yeah, this year, 2020, was the Pantone Classic Blue. All right. So, but anyway, let's go back to Monica's island. We've got Virtue on the island. Monica here. Monica wearing the, the Pantone color of the year, illuminating. And the gray. Nice sweater, Merchie. Says Linda, yes. Linda says, there's a whole swatch of colors, but they always feature two. Oh, they do? I didn't even realize there was one with the purple. What came with the blue? Blue, classic blue. No, there's only one there. I don't know. Anyway, all right. Uh, you want to show us around, Monica? Where, what have you got? Richie's like slow walking. Look at this plaza. Hey, Monica, do you have any more of these park benches? I'd love to get one off of you. And because um, I, I have no park benches like these, and I want to create like my plaza foyer, fo foyer, <laughs> foyer area. I need uh, park benches. So, Game Attack, thank you so much for your uh, dream code or dream address. I will, um, if we have time, we'll check it out tonight. If not, make sure you f uh, subscribe. We'll check it out next uh, Animal Crossing stream. Uh, Monica says yes, I can make some. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yes, at least just one. Or I'm, I'm lo looking to get a couple. But yeah, one is fine if it, if I can catalog it. I mean, if it's a, a DIY, oh, if you can make some. If it's DIY, then I can't order it from Luke's cranny. I can make some too. I have DIY from those benches. Okay, yeah. Um, you guys just let me know what the ingredients are, and um, I can send them to you. But I I'm looking for at least three, maybe four. So yeah, DIY. Okay. Linda says beautiful fountain area. I agree. I love it. I like the sound of running water. It's kind of... This is... Yo! This is your new museum area! That's what it... Oh my god! You've got the head of Olmec! There's a bunch of bags here for some reason. A bunch of presents. Wow! I didn't mean to laugh. I meant to be surprised. You got Olmec's head here. Little dancing figurine. Wow, guys! Ooh! Easter Island head? Cool! I like it. Hey, it's the lion! The lion! It's like one of them I gave you. Awesome! We got them everywhere. Let's take an upward look. Wow, the dinosaurs in the background. I like it. Um, I gotta show. You. <laughs> Wait, I think I have an image. So, I also put waterfalls by my museum. But let me show you. <laughs> I need to update the design of the museum because it looks like it's blathers <laughs> flicking you off. <laughs> it's like he's gotten one too many bugs and he's just like, screw you guys for giving me all these bugs. Here's the two uh, double deuce. <laughs> I need to update that, those, that waterfall design because it looks like blathers is giving us the double deuce there. <laughs> yeah. But mine's kind of similar. It has. I want to have waterfalls there too. But like, in mine, I have dinosaurs leading up to the museum area. So, um, yeah. 
<laughs> Linda says, oh my god, seeing other islands puts me to shame. Uh, oh, Linda, no, stop it. Everyone's um, island is always uh, a work in progress. So no matter how good you or how badly you think your island is, everyone else is thinking the same of theirs. Like, oh, it's not even done. I still have these areas to, um, uh, to improve and things like that. I love this picture. Think of the picture. <laughs> I love it. Oh, it's a great museum area. Yeah, actually, can I? I gotta go this way. Yeah, I like the dinosaurs in the background. It's very cool. <laughs> yeah, I didn't mean for the waterfalls to make it look like Blathers was flicking people off, but now that I mention it, I feel like I want to keep it that way because it's <laughs> it's freaking funny. <laughs> wow. <gasps> Look at this flower patch! Holy moly! Look at Monica, she's so proud of it. Amazing. Bobby's playing Smash Brothers Ultimate. Yeah, if anything, if you see any other islands that you think is better than yours, just save screenshots, draw inspiration. Um, try not to dwell on the fact that you think your island sucks or whatever. But yeah, everyone's always improving and changing. There's never a finality to the game. Mary from Coco Nutty is coming in. <laughs> mm. It'd be so sad when I eat all these grapes. There's gonna be no more. Hmm. Hey. Mm -hmm. A little traveling music, if you will. Drop my controller. <laughs> I wish I had the prices right, horn. <laughs> what happened? What happened? Monica says the other side of my island needs help. Lots of broken shovels. <laughs> a lot of work. Oh, because you had to dig up the flowers and put them in order. I see. Have you ever gotten a, a golden shovel? A golden shovel will like last like a hundred digs. Wow, it's so dark and dreary on my island compared to yours. <laughs> what time is your island? Mine's at 7.33. It's at night. Oh, I thought we were in the same time zone. <laughs> All right, let's try to go back. We'll try to find out. We're in trouble. I should have used that one. It's, yeah. That's my oh my god sound effect. Although, usually scared emojis are supposed to fly by, but I guess it's broken. I gotta update it. Alright, well, let's see if Monica's island is still open. If not, we can still do some improvements on the island. Bum ba dum bum ba dum bum bum bum. I gotta do some cord management. All my cords for my my Fitbit charger, the switch cords, Elgato HDMI cables. Yeah, it's just kind of a pile here. Uh, search for a friend. Eh. Mhm. Let's fly. Oh, so, guys, um, I'm going to have a white elephant on my, no, white elephant, gift exchange. Um, we're going to have it Saturday after Christmas Day, Saturday the 26th, like the m morning of Saturday. If you guys are free, I'm going to have a bunch of wrapped gifts. If you want to take part in the gift exchange, what you have to do is bring a wrapped gift. You know, something nice, maybe a furniture item, maybe a DIY, a rare DIY, um, some raw materials like gold or something like that. And then um, what you'll do is you drop one off and then take a bag. Or you can drop two off and take two bags. Um, but yeah, just the whole exchange of gifts and all that. And then what, I'm, I'd like to play some games and I'd like to set up a musical chairs event. So stay tuned. I still have to figure out where on my island I'm gonna set up these ch chairs. Mario, hey! Hey! Can you see me? Hey! Hey! Oh. 
so yeah musical chairs on christmas <laughs> at the christmas exchange um but yeah stay tuned i'll create a event on my facebook page and um we'll play along uh, 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 um Looks like helmet on their way here. <laughs> now we'll play. Maybe. Do I have any other music? No. Civil music. Alright, Mary. Try again. Come from Coconutty. The very first relocator. Mary! Oh! Just hit my microphone. Mary. Touchdown! No communication errors. Come on! Come on! Come on! Starting the set! She's making it! Oh my god, it's working! Oh my god, and she's wearing a Christmas sweater as well. Oh, I haven't made it this far in a song. Wow. That was a long load time, I think. <laughs> Let's keep playing. Wow, there's 25 seconds still. Let's keep it going. Let's play it. Keep it going. Aiden, how are you? I hope you follow, subscribe, wherever you're at. Ba -ba -ba -bum. Aiden, thank you so much for liking the stream, my friend. Hope you are doing well this Saturday. Oh, Saturday, what? <laughs> Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday evening, what day is it? Oh my god, these grapes are getting to me. Are these wine grapes? Just kidding. Did we lose Murchie? Is Murchie around? Hmm. So, we were observing this gorgeous, gorgeous flower patch. Look at it. We're all in order. Don't run through the flowers, Mary! You're gonna knock out the flowers! <laughs> you gotta walk. Don't run. <laughs> wow. Very nice. Very nice. Where'd you come up? <laughs> Push your applause. I'm good, Aiden. How are you doing? But yeah, we're just kind of relaxing, chilling. Obviously, if, since this is your first time here, I have a little breathing assistant that'll help you relax. Just follow the breathing. It helps um, lower your stress levels and release tension. It's the 4x4x4x4 breathing technique. So, uh, Merchie says it's gonna make me a batch. Oh, thank you, my friend. Much appreciate. Hey, look, it's Marshall. Hi, Marshall. Hello! You got him. Marshall! 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 <laughs> this is it. Hey, um. Boom. <laughs> that was great. What if we did some, uh. <laughs> Let's do some yoga. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Hit. Let's take a couple breaths here. Breathe in. Hold it for four seconds. Hold it gently. And then exhale. Hold it for four seconds before inhaling. And then inhale. Hold it gently. Don't struggle. It's supposed to be relaxing. 
And as you exhale, all the tension go. Yeah, that's why I love this breathing apparatus. It's always helped me relax and uh, de-stress. Am I just... Oh, I'm in a warrior pose. <laughs> Very cool. Alright. I like your rainbow flag. That's really cool. Very nice, very nice. A little shopping area, very cool. Yeah, I like keeping the shops close to the resident services center. Very nice, very nice. Man, he got flowers everywhere! Holy moly, wow! Such organization! Much flowers! Many wow! A little tea area? I like it. How delightful. Ooh, we got a, it's a lunch area. With like soups and teas and... Would you like some tea? <laughs> Kip us for breakfast, mum! <laughs> Tis, said Anna Helga. <laughs> all right, all... oh, you're stuck there in the corner. You went the wrong way. <laughs> all right, where else, Monica? Where else? Is this area okay? Is it... <gasps> wow! A little reading nook area. Very cool. I like it. I do want to have a relaxing spot somewhere in my island. I think I'll make that my foyer. That's how you pronounce it, right? Foyer? Not foyer? Oh. Did we end up on the wrong side of town here? I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You did say the other side of your island needs a little work, but oh man, look at all these flowers! How are you gonna organize? Needs help. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> what are you gonna do with all these flowers? You need to get some golden shovels. Wow, you got all these surfboards. Wow, that's really cool. I like it. I like it. Oh hi. Yeah, my name's Patrick. Please end the conversation. Please shut up. Someone is arriving. <laughs> That's funny. All right, who's coming? Who's the coming now? Merchy from Scarif. Welcome, Murchie from Scarif. Oh, he's changed outfits. Oh my word. See? That load time was a lot faster this time. Which is interesting. Why I don't know why Mary's took forever. I wonder if it was just like reestablishing the connection since of the or uh, after the uh, communication error we had earlier. Oh no, I have three grapes left after these two. <laughs> so five grapes left. <laughs> Counting down this sadness. And these grapes are no longer in my life. <laughs> mm. All right. Let's go say hi to Merchie. Bum, ba, bum, bum, ba, lum, bum, bum, bum. Hello. Hey Mary. There you are. Hey look. Zen spot. 
Yeah? Yeah, in front. Or are you gonna show us this end spot? Let's find out. A one? A two? A three? Zen spot. <laughs> oh my word. We got a little deer scare here with the bamboo wishing trees. I don't know what the formal name of these are. But like, nope, didn't mean to do that. Let's see. It's an orange piece of Tanzaku that reads, I want to be a hero. And a snack would be nice too. <laughs> Two grand things. I like it. I like it. Yeah, I, I, I tried to do a zen area at first on my island, but it ended up being like a bee sanctuary because I ended up surrounding the bamboo trees with flowers and then beehives or the uh, yeah the beehives um, in it so I was like okay this will be a bee sanctuary area where we save the bees and whatnot so very cool Monica I love this area thanks for showing me hi Marshall bye Marshall Mr. Celebrity what's here ooh a little tea area picnic area how cute! Can we emote? Can I clap while I'm here? Oh yeah. Yahoo! <laughs> oh, the rug is a custom design! Look at that! Kimberly, thank you so much for liking the stream. How you doing? My name- Oh my god, we got raided by Sassy Siren! Sorry, I know it's supposed to be a chill, chill stream, but guys, we got raided! By Sassy Siren. Oh my god, guys. If you haven't watched Sa Sassy Siren streaming, you gotta, guys have to check her out. Oh yeah. Aquarius, thank you so much for spreading love. How you guys doing? Welcome. My name is Patrick, aka Dork Awesome Guy. I stream Animal Crossing usually on Tuesdays. Um, but I got busy. So, Lyric, thank you so much for liking the stream. So I hope you give me a follow, subscribe, wherever you're at. I'm on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. Um, aside from Animal Crossing, we play Mario Kart. Uh, we play Among Us on Thursdays, and on Saturdays, Jackbox, where you can play along. So, good times. Oh, guys, I'm, I'm a fan of Sassy Siren. I love checking out her streams, too, so I'm, I'm, I'm so honored you guys have rated my channel. I'm so glad you guys are here. Oh, thank you! You like my shirt? Are you talking about in the game or in real life? <laughs> it's a little, little fleece getup. Yeah, it's, it's actually more purple in the middle, these little squares. It's like purple and red. Yeah, it's one of my favorite. It's very warm. Um, very good for winter. So, Aquarius, thank you so much for liking the stream. How you guys doing? Oh my god, happy Wednesday to all of you. I hope you guys are doing well. And, um, yeah, thank you so much for spreading the love. Oh, Lyric is following! Oh, yeah! Lyric, thank you so much for the follow! Uh, Caitlin says in real life. Okay, okay good, cool. <laughs> yeah, I got that. This is actually an Old Navy shirt. Like, Michael, thank you so much for liking the stream. Um, yeah, and it was on sale. It was like in the clearance section. I bought it like a couple years ago. And, um, how are you guys clapping? <laughs> yeah, Leanne! Thank you so much for the follow! Ashley, thank you so much for the raid. Much appreciated. I hope you're doing well. How are things going on your island? I'm, I'm so, I'm always so inspired when I watch Sassy on her island because, especially with that maze? Holy crap! That's so fun! <laughs> It's super cool. Weren't you doing a... You were doing a catalog event tonight, right? I think I saw your stream. Like, you're doing a catalog event and people got, like, 99,000 bells. Um, for each one. Look at you guys presenting me. <laughs> Thank you. I'm behind a lamppost here. I'll stand in the middle here. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> Aquarius! Thanks for following. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thank you so much for the follow, my friend. Um... Yeah, good times. <laughs> oh man, Caitlin, thanks for the follow. Mwah, love you guys. Thank you so much. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, yeah, I hope you guys follow along. Um, I love doing. Uh, I love giving back to the community. I do charity streams every Saturday. Angelica, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that too. <laughs> should I should I present myself some way? What's the um? Is there an emoji for like? present yourself 
Gera, thank you so much for liking the stream. Uh, where's the like, tada, or here I am. Do I not have it? Oh, here, here it is. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Gera, we are uh, visiting my friend's island. Blake, thank you so much for the follow. <laughs> but yeah, this is my friend Monica's island. Um, we just thought we'd give her a ra uh, little visit, not a raid. <laughs> Ariane, thank you so much for the follow. Let's game with Angel. Hey, Darky, Mary wants to know how do you wrap a present? So, I'll show you. So, you buy wrapping paper from the shop. You get like a different color gray wrapping, black wrapping, things like that. So, say you want to wrap, you click on it. Blake, thank you so much for liking. Uh, you click on the wrapping paper and click on wrap. Not wap, wrap down there. You go down there uh, from the bottom. And then you go to the top <laughs> and wrap the apple. You choose the item that you want to wrap. Arian, thanks for liking the stream. But yeah, that's how you wrap a present. I just wrapped an apple. Again, just click on the wrapping paper, click on wrap, and then choose the item that you want to wrap. Kira, thank you so much for spreading the love and sharing the stream. Much appreciated. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I'm so happy. I love Sassy Siren. Um... Yeah, no, like I said, we're just here on Monica's Island admiring her handiwork. She said she broke a lot of shovels in order to get this flower patch going. Look at it, look at it! It's all organized by color and it's all all the varieties. Uh, Mary, uh, Mary says thank you. Okay, cool. Kira, thank you so much for following! Look at her. So if you guys don't know, Monica is wearing the yellow color because the Pantone color of the year is Illuminate, which is a very beautiful bright yellow. That's very similar to that. So that's why we've got a yellow theme. It's very bright. If we go back to my island, it's very dark. It's very dreary. <laughs> Caitlin says, love all those flowers. That's for you, Monica. Yeah, it's a really great flower patch. I love it. Oh yeah, let's, let's show them your museum area since we got some visitors here. So as soon as you get off of the airplane, it puts you right here in this plaza. Ashley, thank you so much for sharing! Oh my god, thank you so much. Sassy Siren herself, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys don't follow Sassy Siren streaming, you got to check her out. Um, Ashley, if you want to, feel free to put a link in the description. Or the comments, I should say. Thank you so much for sharing! Um, yeah, check out Sassy Siren streaming if you haven't already, if you're not part of the raid group. She has a really awesome stream. Streams a lot of Animal Crossing, some Among Us. Thank you so much, Ashley. Much appreciated. So yeah, check out this museum area that Monica put together. She's got the hedges, she's got Olmec from Legends of the Hidden Temple. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thank you, Ashley, very much. Got waterfalls, dinosaurs in the background. It's very cool. Oh, and I have to show you guys this, because like I said that I wanted waterfalls by my museum. Ooh, I'm just gonna keep dancing because Ashley keeps spreading the love. Ashley, thank you so much. So I realized this the other day, and I showed it earlier on my stream. Uh, I put mu um, waterfalls by my museum, and um, I didn't realize that the design on the waterfalls makes it look like Blathers is flicking you off. <laughs> Ashley, I love it. Thank you so much for spreading the love. It, this is like as thanks for all the bugs I gave Blathers and all the bugs I ate him. He's giving us a double deuce with this <laughs> this waterfall pattern. <laughs> I didn't even realize that, that it came out that way. It's, it's supposed to be like a single waterfall that goes in a little pot, uh, pond in front of it. But it ended up looking like he's flicking us off with both his hands. Yeah, I gotta update that. <laughs> Ashley! Mm -mm. I'm just gonna keep dancing. Thank you so much. Do a random sit. I love it. Thank you so much, my friend. My goodness. But yeah, uh, Sassy Siren, feel free to uh, drop a link in the comments if you guys don't follow her. Make sure you follow Sassy Siren Streaming. Um, yeah. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Well, Monica, is there anything else you want to show off on your island? Ooh, did you put this fence up to harvest some balloons? So if you guys don't know, if you get this gigantic wall, any balloons that fly by will actually be stopped by it, provided there's no level up behind it or next to it. Because the balloons only stay at a certain height, and then they, they get caught on this tall, tall wall. 
Uh, Monica says yes. Yeah, there it is. There's Sassy Siren streaming, guys. There's the comment or the link into the in the co Facebook comments. So wherever you guys are at, make sure you guys follow her. Um, check her streams out. She is amazing. Wow. Yeah, this is a whole balloon harvesting operation. It's like <laughs> oh, a little little gateway here to get through. Ooh, little sports area. Very cool. Whose house is this? Charlize. I'm not familiar with Charlize. Wow. Angel has 144 for turnips. If you guys need to sell turnips, check out Let's Gaming with Angel. He's in the stream as well. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Yeah, but he streams Animal Crossing too. Uh, Let's Gaming with Angel. Check him out. Um, I really like how you got this set up where each one has a yard. Monica. I wanted to do that on my island, but I'm running out of space. I kind of worked myself into a corner. <laughs> but at least they'll have like a nice foyer where they could all hang out and things like that. But I like it. Wow. Wait, where, where is everything? All right. Oh, you got eight up there. Brittany! Mm -mm. Thank you so much for the follow. Much appreciated. Uh, Caitlin says, do we automatically get the sit reaction or do you have to learn it? You actually have to buy it. What's up? Thanks for following. Monica says I did the villager area first. That's smart because then you don't end up like me where you work yourself into a corner. But yeah, Caitlin, you have to buy from Nooks, uh, or excuse me, um, resident services from the ATM, ABD machine. Um, it's one of the new reactions since the latest update. But yeah, as soon as you buy it, it's it's not that expensive. Like you get a whole bunch of new reactions, like this whole sit down, there's a wave goodbye, you can do some working out, which is really cool. It's the closest we'll get to dancing, um, which I hope they bring back. Because back in New Leaf on the 3DS, you used to be able to dance. Tidal wave! Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we've got... Facebook's own Tidal Wave on the stream, ladies and gentlemen. Tidal Wave is another awesome Animal Crossing streamer. I hope you guys check him out. Um, man, he's, he's inspired me too. Tidal Wave is one of the most generous, nicest, uh, entertaining, and funniest streamers uh, I've come to know. Ariane, thank you so much for the spreading the love. <laughs> Here it is. So this is Monica here in the yellow, and this is Angel from Let's Game with Angel on Monica's Island. Right now, we're just if you're just joining us, we're visiting Monica's Island and checking out her areas on her island. Mm -mm. Ashley, sassy siren, sharing the love. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, yes, tidal wave, ladies and gentlemen. Leslie knows tidal wave. Mm -mm. Spreading the love. Thank you so much. Oh, Caitlin, thank you so much for the notify. Yeah, if you guys ever want to get notified, make sure you get my notifications. Exclamation point notify in the comments section. You just want to keep me dancing, huh? Mm, 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 mm. I'm glad I didn't make... It used to be longer, actually. <laughs> my uh, um, alert notification for when people share or uh, donate stars. Like, it used to be a little bit longer, and I'd just be dancing and dancing, especially when like there's a follow rate or a share tr or star train or whatever. Um, yeah, we go on and on. <laughs> so, kind of glad it's a little bit shorter. Alright, looks like a little... This is where red comes up. Very cool. Very cool. Little waterfall area. <laughs> Merchy with the random sit. That's all sit. Yeah. Relax. By the way, I don't know if I explained this to you guys. Um, I have a little breathing app, uh, assistant that I made. It's based on the 4x4x4x4 four by four by four by four technique. <laughs> it helps you relax, de-stress. Um, usually when I play Animal Crossing, I like to give it a chill vibe. I usually do some guided meditation and um, it's very relaxing. Like we do some breathing exercises, um, uh, de-stressing, unwinding all together. It's a chill time usually. Nope, are you cleaning up? <laughs> Look at this area. Oh, there's an arcade. We missed the arcade. Oh, let's go check it out. Come on. It's like an entertainment area. Oh, look at it. Yeah. <laughs> and we go right. 
cool. Outdoor arcade. What are all these wrap presents doing around everywhere? Ooh, I need this arcade machine. This green one? What is it? Is it Mahjong? It does look like Mahjong. Interesting. Wait. I can't reach it. Is the chair... I think the chair is like... One... Like half a space down. Like I can't hit it when I'm sitting down. <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah, it's a little far. <laughs> no worries. Alright. Anything else you want to show us, Monica? Before we go? I'm doing wit well tied away. Thank you so much. I am very inspired by your recent uh, package opening. Uh, sorry, that came out wrong. <laughs> You're, you got something in the mail and you opened it on stream. It was a bunch of goodies and I was like, man, I want to do some of that streaming. So I do have a P.O. box that I'm, I'm at first I was hesitant to give out and share, but at the same time, it's not really my home address or whatever. So, um, yeah, I might reveal that soon. If you guys want to send gifts or um, anything you want me to open on stream, treats or something like that. Like my friend Leslie over here. Leslie, um, she... Well, I'll, I'll explain it later. It, it, it's some, something she gave me today, which is really cool. But I'll save it for a stream later. But Leslie, if you're still watching, thank you so much for that. Very much appreciate that. Um, but yeah, no. Um... Well, I guess I should explain it. No? No, no. Surprise later. Surprise later. But yeah, it'll be fun to open stuff on stream. Anyway. Um, yeah, Monica, thank you so much for showing us around. Is there any other area you want to show us? Um, you'll send it to me? Thank you so much. Tidal Wave, you've been wanting to send me something. Oh my god, guys. See, look look what I just said. Tidal Wave is so generous. You want to send me something? I was going to ask you if you had something like that set up. Okay. Um, Tidal Wave, I'll message you my uh, mailing address later. <laughs> Prakash, thank you so much for liking the stream. Um, yes. Yes, you can mail me stuff if you guys want. I'll give you my address. Not home address. <laughs> hey, Falafel is online. The rest of the island needs help. Okay, no worries, Monica. But thank you so much. You've actually given me some inspiration. On, like, spacing and this... And when you take the time to organize your flowers in some sort of like color pattern or some arrangement it really pays off i mean look at how beautiful this looks monica said she it took her a lot of broken shovels to get to this point <laughs> but i'm really really inspired it's just it takes some work but as with any animal crossing island you just little work at it little by little and then sometimes you end up with something so beautiful like this monica thank you so much for inviting us to your island and showing it off on stream it's really cool. Mm, I'll invite you over when I finish up. Okay, sounds good, Monica. <laughs> um, who's that? Sheena! Hey, Sheena! Ladies and gentlemen, we've got another Animal Crossing streamer. Sheena. Shine with Sheen on the line, ladies and gentlemen. God, don't you just love Animal Crossing? There's like an awesome community around it. There's not too many toxic people in, in the community compared to like some other uh, games I will not mention but um, no because like it's it's all it's not about killing each other or like fighting each other it's just playing <laughs> I don't know how to describe it it's casual sim you know life sim so all right guys thank you so much for uh, letting me come by I'm gonna go back to my island now and um, show a little bit off of uh, some of that before we headed to some guided meditation. So if you guys want to relax and de-stress, stay tuned. I'm going to be doing some guided meditation just a little bit back on my island. So. Ariane says, I have flowers island as well. Very cool. Yeah, I didn't realize how much it takes to arrange all the flowers. Because then I realized, like, wait, you have to actually dig them up and then plant them. Like, you can't just pick them and drop them, pick them and drop them. I mean, you could plant seeds, but, you know... It's easier to or it's easier to organize when they're fully grown and you can kind of see the color, what they look like and kind of arrange them that way. But that does mean a lot of broken shovels unless you have like a golden shovel. I don't. But kudos to you Monica for doing all that flower work. Very cool. Uh Kimberly says just Vivian Animal Crossing New Horizons. Yes. Yes. Angel Angelica says it's one big family. Yeah. I mean it's just 
you guys are sharing presents with each other, you're sharing DIYs, or you're asking for help, and especially when it comes to turnips, you're trying to ask other people and friends to help each other out, and look, here, okay, this is my braided path, oh god, there's buttholes all over it, um, <laughs> I just gotta clean that up a little bit, actually, I should put like a clear path over those, that'll help it out, but yeah, it's 8.06 p.m., well, technically not here in the Chicagoland area, um, but yeah, it's still nighttime, regardless. So that's what it is what it is. Uh, let's give me with AJ. I was about to give you a bench. Oh, I didn't know you you, <laughs> you should have dropped it off a little bit earlier. No worries. Um, just mail it to me, Merchie. Thank you so much. Uh, excuse me, Angel. Yeah, just just mail it to me, my friend. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. <laughs> Shine with Sheen. All right, so this is my island. It's a little dark, so it's it's really not going to show it off too well. <laughs> little shopping area, still work in progress. I'm actually going to be transporting this into like a concert area. I'm going to be moving these houses over. But yeah, free DIYs and items here. Um, I'm going to be working a little bit more on my bridge. This is my long bridge area. Thanks to Monica, whose island we just visited. She donated all these iron fencing uh, pieces. But yeah, it, it looks better in the nighttime. I think I should like put some lighting here now that I think about it. But yeah, there's two dinosaur fossils leading all the way up this long bridge, all the way up to the museum, which, uh, like I said, <laughs> also needs work. And here are the the... The double deuces waterfalls i just wanted a simple waterfall to come down and i just realized it looks like a face with the bushes as the eyes and the waterfalls and nose <laughs> yeah slowly coming together but yeah this is my little museum area it looks so dreary with the snow coming down but what have you <laughs> whatever um you love the braided path thank you so much sheen much appreciated i saw it on the facebook group and uh, I totally copied it. I was like, I really want to do that on my island. Because, you know, when you fly in, you come in at an angle. And the braided pattern almost comes at the same exact angle. So I'm like, I want people to see that. Like, it's a landing strip kind of thing. I do still need to decorate it, though. Like, it's kind of plain. Yeah, plain is a relative term. Like, I want to put more around it. Like, bushes, some flowers, things like that. Um, but yeah. Oh, let me show you my house. Oh, I mentioned earlier, this might be Sanctuary area. 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 I don't know why I pronounce it that way. Um, water flowing. But yeah, save the bees. I never see any bees, though. <laughs> I think they're all just hiding inside. Like, I never see them on the flowers. Or maybe they don't like mums. Those flowers. Yeah, yeah that's what it is. <laughs> um, let's see, what did you say, Sheen? Uh, nursing the potato sore throat so I can only do my silly potato songs again next stream. Apart from that, I'm happy to catch this beautiful being stream. Aw, Sheen! Oh, Sheen is another lovely, lovely streamer. She also does Animal Crossing. She also loves doing, like, um, where the camera is like a potato avatar. So it's like her eyes, her mouth, but it's on a potato. And it's just... <laughs> It looks awesome. Sheen, if you want to put your link in the description, in the Facebook comments, please do. Make sure you guys check her out. I, th I believe you're in the Philippines, right, Sheen? Um, but yeah, I'm Filipino too, but I'm here in the stateside. But I still catch her streams. Like, I'm, like, up late night, and I'll check her out. And uh, it's just so fun to watch her streams. Hey, we got mail. So this is my house area. This is where I usually plant the money trees. Uh, wait a second. Isabel said it was her lucky day with the horoscope. That means... Possibly, we can bury more than 10,000 bells in the money hole somewhere. We can find it. This area is my little campsite area. That's why I got a whole bunch of camp here. I do want to open up at another account here. Because you know when you first move in, your first house that Tom Nook loans you is a tent. And I just want to keep it as a tent. So that way it's like next to the campsite. And it looks that way. Um, but yeah. Oh, 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 Sorry. Sorry for my reaction. The present disappeared on the rock. I thought it would bounce off. It just, like, dissolved into the rock because it couldn't land. That's so bogus. That's so bogus. 
<laughs> there you go. There's the potato stream machine herself. Shine with sheen. Give her guys a follow. Show her the love. Oh, there it is. There's the money hole. <laughs> okay. So, word of advice. <laughs> Before you shoot down a balloon, make sure you realize where it's going to land. Otherwise, that might happen. <laughs> that way, remember, once you place a tent, you cannot move it. Oh. That's good to know how to wave. I wonder if I want to keep that tent there. I, I'm pretty sure I want to keep it there. Because that's where the campsite is. Exactly like that. The rock stole my present. Yes, it did. Murchie says, I've never seen it disappear on a rock. Yes! I haven't either. That's the first time. That's why I just shot it. I was like, okay, it's just going to bounce and I'll be able to get it. Nope. Nope. The rock ate my present. <laughs> Rest in peace, present, says Sheen. <laughs> Very cool. Okay, so there is this tip that I saw online. And Murchie, I think you didn't confirm it. At least you said it didn't work for you. Monica says it was true. If Isabel's announcement that day says she had a horoscope, she says she was lucky... That's what you can, when you can bury more than 10,000 bells. So I'm going to risk 99,000 bells for science, which is fine. I'm so rich. Ha huh? I can throw away 99,000 bells. And um, we'll see if it triples when it fully blooms. And I'll let you guys know if it works or not. Um, so yeah, like I said, I usually bury them in front of my house. So it's like the first thing I see when I log in. Just so I can track the progress, see how it's going. Um, Annalisa said they sell a kid's tent. Oh, the kid's tent! That's right! I can use that instead of the campsite. Well, then you can't go inside. Well, I guess you can't really put much in a tent because it's so small. Kid's tent. That's a good idea, Annalisa. Let's see if it works for you. It didn't work for me. Yeah, hopefully. I've heard that it's random when you can bury more than 10,000. We'll find out. We'll find out if this worked. So it's like a, at least a data point in the research. We got a present from Falafel. I want to express my appreciation. I hope you enjoy your shiny new arcade Mahjong game. Falafel, thank you so much. That's what I need. A bench to sit on from Merchie. Oh my god, we got a bench from Merchie. Okay, first off, I'm going to place this bench and then this arcade machine in my house. I'll show off my house in just a little bit. Then we'll get into the guided meditation. I do apologize. Thank you so much for your patience. Uh, little, little, little. I wanted to put a bench here. So you can kind of watch the, um, the dinosaurs. Of course, it's only going to face one direction, but maybe I'll put another one. Angel from Let's Gaming with Angel has donated a bench. Thank you so much, my friend. Oh, this is great. Oh, a little look at the Triceratops. And we'll watch stars fall down. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I think I'll put another one here facing the other way. So, very cool. So, Merchie, thank you so much, my friend. Where am I from? I'm from the Chicagoland area in the United States here in Illinois. Kelly, thank you so much for liking the stream. How you doing? Good to see you. So this is my house. I have an Amazon package waiting for me, but I'll never open it because it's there for decoration. <laughs> and Lisa says the horoscope didn't work for you. No! Did I waste 99,000? No! When Isabel mentions luck, there yeah, that's what I thought. Apart from that, just be sure to bury 10,000. Nice. Looks good with the bridge. Yes, Annalisa, thank you. Kelly says the money hole was the thing I heard when I joined, I swear. <laughs> It came out wrong. It came out all wrong. Oh wait, I didn't even bury the tree. In the money hole. <laughs> Michael says there's one day a week where you can plant more than 10,000 bells and get three times. Yes, it's random for each person. Okay, so th that's what I've heard too, that there's, there's no pattern. People have tried to figure out the pattern, but I guess it's random. Your cousin Jovette. Do you mind telling me what your cousin's last name is? Because I might know them. You don't have to on stream in a public place, but I mean, that'd be so crazy if you actually knew, like, my cousin. <laughs> mm. Yeah, Annalisa, I hope so too. <laughs> Kelly, what's that face? For the money hole? <laughs> there was a meme. What was it? It looked like... <laughs> 
wait. So it, was look it looked like, what was it? If you're looking, here actually I'll bury the label socks. So we'll bury this. So obviously the money hole or butthole looks like that. And the first panel it said, if you're looking to turn this into this, hit me up. That's what the meme was. <laughs> Dirty, I know. I know, a kid game. Sorry, sorry, sorry. If any kids are watching, go to bed. <laughs> um... Wait! Sheen! I think we're talking about the same person. But it's not Jovet. It's J-O-B-E-T-T. -T. Is Are you sure it's with a V? Because if it... <laughs> Oh my god. What are the odds? Anyway. Uh, let me know. So weird. <laughs> you saw that meme too, Kelly? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Oh my god. So Michael says, The best way to find out what day it is is to plant 11,000 each day and mark what day the tree was planted. Then when they're ready to harvest, you'll know what day the lucky day of the week. See, the thing is, I tried that. The first video I saw said it was like every other day for three days and then it skips to so it's like Money day normal money day normal money day normal normal Then it goes back to money day normal money. It's it's a weird pattern and I tried marking that and tried Then I started like marking down in the calendar What days of the week they are and it there was no pattern it didn't work Wait so Sheen, is that the same person? Is it your is it really your cousin? Wait, we need to talk. <laughs> I had no idea. Wait, what? Are you? You know, you know my cousin Sheen. <laughs> Wait, that's amazing. I'm showing off my house, by the way, in case you guys are still watching. Uh, Kelly says time travel easy. Oh uh, yeah, you can do that too. That's my little poo poo area with a candle courtesy candle so your poo poo doesn't stink there's also some incense candles or uh, what is it scent sticks what are they called poo poo go bye bye sticks that's what it is <laughs> oh my god she yes wait you're you wait so that's your cousin she's my distant cousin too that's so crazy are you serious guys <laughs> i'm freaking out right now that's amazing Okay, we need to talk later after this. <laughs> That's amazing. We gotta. Wow. All right. Cool. Yeah, we'll talk later, Sheen. All right. So, guys, my house, <laughs> my little doggy, little rest area, cuckoo clock. Thanks to Angel from Let's Gaming with Angel. Uh, and here's my kitchen on the side. Small world. Well, you know, we are Filipinos, and <laughs> we do have big families. So, but still, that's that's quite a coincidence. I'm glad I found you, Sheen. I don't know how. I think I might have just accidentally found you through streams or something. Or you came to like my stream or something. No! Tidal Wave stream. When you visited his island and you had the potato costume and everything. Yeah, that's when I saw you. Um, yeah, Shine with Sheen. Another streamer. Uh, so yeah, this is my kitchen area. Very open, very bright. And um, the Ironwood furniture was thanks to Leslie. Thank you so much, AKA Falafel. My little area. And I'll show you... Um... Speaking of stinks, my cat peed on my bean bag. Oh no! Oh, animal pee pee is like one of the worst, especially on something that's porous. I, I'm sorry, Kelly. <laughs> Rest in peace. Uh, beanbag. <laughs> Small world after all, says Annalisa. Yes, yes indeed. Kelly, or uh, Leslie said the same thing, Small world. <laughs> Tidal Web says, I met her when I got the Sachi raid, and we've been spuds since spuds. <laughs> Wait, I think I still have the pattern on mine. Can I show you guys? Do I still have it? I do! Ah! <laughs> so this is uh, Shine with Sheen's design. Like I said, she likes being a potato on her stream. Oh yeah, this is her costume design. It's a potato! Look at it! Isn't that adorable? 
<laughs> it's got a potato with the hearts on it. Shine with Sheen, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you check out her streams. I love her Animal Crossing streams. It's so awesome. Okay, we'll keep that potato outfit on in honor of Shine with Sheen. So yeah, this is my uh, bedroom. I have a lava lamp because this is where the magic happens. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and this is my like uh, computer area where I stream. Annalisa with the 50 stars! Woo! Annalisa, thank you so much. Much appreciated, my friend. This is my computer where I can stream. Camera, lights facing me, like in real life. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then I'll show you my arcade, which is downstairs. Sheena says, yeah, and I followed you and saw my cousin was following your page too. Oh, yeah, our cousin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Monica's going to bed. Good night. Monica, thank you so much again for the uh, for letting us visit your island earlier and give me inspiration. Very, very cool. Fanwave says, if you want all the black rattan furniture, let me know. I have it catalog. Sounds good. Uh, Maurice, thank you so much for following. Um, if you have like the dresser and the nightstand in black, I would like that. Because I'm going for like a darker color in the bedroom. So that'd be really cool. That'd be really awesome. If you can donate that title wave. Thank you so much. And I'll give you my address later. Alright. And this green Mahjong arcade machine is thanks to Falafel. Thank you so much. Look at it. It's coming together. My arcade. I like it. I need a chair. I need a green diner chair. Do I have one? No. What am I looking in my pockets for? Um... I do not. Okay, we'll have to find one. Any of you guys have a green diner chair? That'd be great. But yeah, this is my arcade area. I've angled the lights carefully so at least it illuminates the foosball table and the pool table. It's also got like a purple uh, vaporware vibe going on, which I like. A little slot machine in the back. Not too much gambling, but I had to have one, you know, because it's one of those rare items. Crazy Kill Gaming! Oh my god, we've got another Animal Crossing streamer here! Ladies and gentlemen, Crazy Kill... Am I pronouncing that right? I, I didn't realize I... I realized I'd never asked you how to pronounce that. <laughs> another great streamer. Brandon! Como estas? Que voy a tarde. Si, yo soy streaming Animal Crossing esta noche. Uh, Brandon, gracias. Para el like. Uh, Brandon... Um, FYI, uh, he speaks Spanish, and he's given me an opportunity to practice my Spanish, which is really cool. Well, Brandon, si, sí. soy jugando Animal Crossing. ¿Tú tienes un uh, Nintendo Switch? Y yeah, Animal Crossing? Maurice says, thank you, this is my kind of channel. Oh, my pleasure, Maurice. Brandon, Brandon, gracias for, for the share. Uh, Murchie says, I love, I have blue arcade benches if you prefer that. Ooh, yes, actually, Murchie, if you can give me two of those, that'd be great, because I have black for the, the, the shooter games, which need blue. Michael, thank you for the follow. Oh, Kimmy, how do you move all that at once? Oh, 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 sorry. I went outside. <laughs> Sheen says you should wear the potato outfit and jump into pitfalls. Yeah, like a potato. You'll be buried and you'll be like, ugh. <laughs> All right, Kimmy. So this is what you do. When you're in design mode, you press the Z button or the bumper button and you hold it down. See, look on the, on the corner there, lower right-hand corner. It says hold R to select multiple. So that's what you do. You can drag and select a whole selection square. And you can move a whole bunch of items together like that. That's how you do. Makes it all so much easier to move things, especially when they're in a certain order or place. So you don't have to like, okay, move the, move the game board and then the table or something like that. No, you can just move it all together. In fact, if you just press R on it, it'll pick up that everything on that spot. So yeah. Animal Crossing tips with Darky Awesome Guy. <laughs> um, but... Yes, back to Maurice. Maurice, if you're still watching, thank you so much. I'm glad you found me. Yeah, I usually like to keep my Animal Crossing streams chill, welcoming, inclusive. In fact, we're going to do some de-stressing and guided meditation in just a minute here. Um, wow, ain't hard to stream, not watch what they say. 
how they say it in a long time. <laughs> Casino uh, Kimberly says new to Animal Crossing. Still learning. Yeah, Kimberly, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, oh, you're Kelly. Are you kidding me? Crazy. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't know how to pronounce crazy kill. Crazical? Crazical? You're Kelly. Hi, Kelly. How are you? <laughs> Welcome. Uh, square ones. I am dark. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Hence the name. Uh, Leslie says, I have the aquamarine diner stool, but it's not really green. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was hoping like the diner stool that's like circular. Like I have the square ones, but I, I'd like to keep them circular if that's at all possible. Um, Kimmy says, oh my god, I've been moving one thing at a time. Thanks for showing me. Yeah, it's super helpful. I'm glad... I'm glad I can still teach people this game, even though it's been out for like eight months now? Nine months? Oh my god. Yeah, that's kind of... It's interesting because as soon as the Animal Crossing game came out, that's when the stay-at-home order came to the United States. So it's like the amount of time this game has been out is about the amount of time we've had the stay-at-home order. But uh, yeah. KL. Crazy KL. Okay, cool. I'll just call you Kelly, right? <laughs> Kelly, thank you so much. I'm glad I found you too. You're a great streamer. Um, when you say arcade seat, is that the square ones or is that the um, circular ones? Um, but yeah, if they're circular, I'd love to get a hand, get a hold of that. All right, before we do our guided meditation, I'm gonna slip into something a little more comfortable. But Patrick, isn't a potato comfortable? Yeah, but I want something that's, um, uh, what? I'm trying to say, like, I don't want to say, like, I don't want a dirty costume, but, like, <laughs> I usually wear, like, some sort of, like, yoga outfit or, like, something that's, like, pajamas for the guy. Yeah, like, casual pants. We're going to take off our shoes. We'll take off our hat oh baby romper oh my god pajama dress oh i still have compression tights on wow that's oh tights <laughs> oh tights what is what is this outfit i need something loose that's relaxing okay this is good yeah like a a shirt yeah this will do all right cool that's what the KL stands for. Oh, makes sense. Yeah, looking for the diner round seats, Leslie. Uh, Sheen says this game saved my sanity during the lock rounds. I think a lot of people definitely, definitely. I mean, it's such a relaxing game. And that's part of the reason why I do the guided meditation in this game because um, it's such a great way to relax and de-stress. So Maurice, the doggy actually I got as a gift from someone but you you should be able to get it during christmas time like at tom nook no nook's cranny um you'll get one of seven or eight colors available on your island but yeah this one was given to me as a gift by mr tidal wave himself actually yeah diner stools is what i need michael marie says was so happy when we got new reactions that including sitting down and working out oh my god so yeah that's what i usually do yoga okay so the final room i haven't showed you guys is where we're going to do our guided meditation so if this is your first time doing it with us it's a really nice way to relax de-stress um but yeah this is my guided meditation room let's go with oh let's do a sky background this time yeah yeah let's go with a bright Yeah, I have different wallpapers, different flavors of relaxation. That uh, bonsai table in the back was given to me by Lesbia. Le Lesbia. What is it? Leslie. Sorry. I'm sorry for butchering your name. Leslie, my friend Leslie. Um, so thank you for that, Leslie. So yeah, let's relax. So, okay. Okay. <laughs> Hang on. Because I see something coming. <laughs> I think you guys heard that too. Is it coming? Where's the alert? Crazy KL Gaming! 135 stars, my friend. Thank you so much. Thank you for the compliment, you amazing human. Ah, oh, go on. Go on. I love the cloud flooring, too. 
machine. Yeah. I love the cloud flooring. It's very, very relaxing. I love the fog. Annalisa says, I try to sync myself with Tom and Isabel when they're working. I did it. I did it the other day and I recorded it. Here, can I show you guys real quick? Uh, here. Oh, yeah. Working out together. I want to, like, edit this and maybe make it, like, a stream is starting background or something like that. But, yeah. It, it takes a while to get it in sync, and you have to get the timing right. But, yeah, you have to start the workout. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then starts all over. That's when you start the workout. It goes after um, two eight counts when they're doing the... Mm, mm, mm. In case you want to try it yourself. But yeah, that's how it goes. That's how it be. <laughs> it's very fun. Um, okay, so guided meditation. Welcome to Dorky Awesome Guys Guided Meditation. Um, try to get yourself in a comfortable position where you're sitting down. Um, check your posture. Make sure you're not slouching. You can also be laying down. Just get yourself in a com comfortable position where you're not really tense or like leaning forward or leaning back. Just where your feet are planted firmly on the ground, your lower back is supported. Um, you can also be sitting on the ground if you like, cross-legged if you're comfortable doing that. So, Laura, thank you so much for liking the stream. So I'm going to pause some of the alerts here. So if, in case you guys um, like the stream, share the stream, give stars, we'll put that on pause for now while we do some guided meditation. So as you're relaxing, getting comfortable, check your posture. Um, you can keep your eyes closed. Or you can keep them open. You can focus on this breathing guide here, which is very helpful. But yeah, every time we breathe here, you're going to focus on your breath. So we're going to start with an inhale after these four seconds. Four, three, two, one. Breathe in through your nose. Hold it for four seconds gently and exhale. Yes. Hold it for four. You did. Lazy boy chair. Yes, relax. Come and relax. Start doing these breathing exercises and exhale. Always through your nose. Focus on breathing in. Notice how it feels in your nostrils. As you breathe in, hold it gently. You shouldn't be struggling to hold it. Just gentle. And then exhale through your nose. On this ne next inhale, focus on how it's fresh air. Breathe in. And as you're holding it, it's taking away the tension, taking away the tension. And we breathe out. It takes the tension with it. So. Breathe in. And then breathe out. <laughs> so. Continue focusing on your breath as you inhale, how it feels, it's fresh going in, and then notice any tension in your eyes or your shoulder, and exhale it out. Now start from the top of your head. Just think about and sense it. Start from the top of your head and move your way down. Notice where tension is. Maybe it's in your face, maybe it's in your eyes, maybe it's in your shoulders or neck. Maybe you're back as you go down. But every time you exhale, try to let it go. Try to relax your muscles and let the tension go away with each exhale. Exhaling toxins, you're exhaling carbon dioxide. So all the tension you're breathing out and you're basically washing the inside with fresh air and breathing out. And as you continue scanning Check how your body feels against the, the chair that you're sitting on, how comfortable it is, how you're sinking in it. Check your arms, your fingertips. Make sure you're relaxed there too. And with each exhale, release the tension and let it go. If you ever find your mind wandering, thinking about things that are outside, anything negative or anything out there that you want to worry about, you can let it come in, but let it pass. And all you have to do is just keep focusing back on your breath and how it feels. Just always focus on how it feels going in and out of your nostrils. That helps center your mind as you're thinking about things. 
and we're letting them go. And as we're breathing fresh air in, you want to always be thinking about the little wins you've had in your life. Like maybe today you finally brushed your teeth, or you finally washed the dishes, or you finally cooked for yourself or a loved one, or maybe you finally called a loved one, said hello, or you finally got a task done at home. And in, in me saying those things, if you just remembered, oh yeah, I do have to do dishes or I have to do laundry, realize that a lot of the things that are on your list that stress you out or worry you, oftentimes they don't have a deadline. Like a pile of laundry isn't just going to expire. You know, you can eventually get to it. So stop kicking yourself in the butt for those things and be kind to yourself because like I said, Laundry, dishes, they don't have an expiration date. You'll get to it eventually. Try again another day. And I always use this analogy whenever there are big things in your life. Like for me, sometimes a mountain in my life is doing dishes or doing laundry. Like it feels like it's so much to do, especially if it's been piling up, piling up, piling up. But as with any mountain, any mountain can be broken down into smaller boulders. Like you can only, you can do, instead of doing the entire pile of laundry, you can do like three loads of laundry. Or, and each boulder can be broken down into smaller rocks. So instead of doing three loads of laundry, maybe just do one load of laundry. Um, and even those rocks can be broken down into pebbles and broken down further down into sand. Every mountain can be broken down into smaller and smaller steps. So you don't have to tackle everything at once. Because that's what always stopped me from climbing these mountains. Doing all the dishes. Doing all the laundry. It just seemed like it was so much. But what helped me is breaking them down into smaller chunks. Like when I had a sink full of dishes, like both sides, I'm like, I can't wash these dishes. There's no space to even wash them. So what I did one day... I realized, yes, break it down into smaller steps. And the smallest step was washing one dish. And that's what I did. One day I just got up. I'm like, you know what? Forget this. I'm going to do 1%. 1% progress is better than 0% progress. And when I did wash that dish, I'm like, well, my hands are already soapy. The soap or the sponge already has soap in it. Might as well wash another. And then another and another. And then eventually, I got to the point where the drying rack was full. I could, I had, still had a bunch of dirty dishes, but what mattered was I made progress. Because I decided to take on just a grain of sand, and it ended up being bigger rocks. And sometimes that's all you need. Just doing 1%, one little thing to get that little motivation. But even if you feel like you can only handle that one grain of sand, like if I only washed one dish... That was still better than zero dishes washed that day. So think about that. Think about the mountains in your life, the things on your to-do list that you have to do. Realize that if you really think about it, you can actually break it down into smaller chunks, smaller steps, smaller pebbles, smaller grains of sand. And then it makes climbing each mountain that much easier. Yes, you may not climb the entire mountain the entire day, but at least you take your first step. So think about that as you continue with your breathing. Like all these things that are stressing you out in life, you can do it. They may be huge mountains. You're looking at the peak. You already see people at that peak. Like, oh my God, their house is so clean or they're able to cook for their entire family. Don't compare your start at base camp compared to someone that's already at the top of the mountain because their success is not your path. Focus on what you're going to do. Focus on your 1%. What is that next step that you're going to do? That 1%, that little tiny step. It may seem stupid. Get, don't get me wrong. Seeing that whole pile of dishes and saying, oh, I'm just going to wash one dish. That sounds so stupid, doesn't it? At, at first, when you think about it, it's like, why would you only wash one dish? That's so stupid. Do you have so many dishes? But sometimes that's all you need to do. Because 1% progress is better than 0%. So 
when you tack when you wake up tomorrow it's gonna be thursday morning you're gonna have things you, you're gonna want to do or tasks you want to do or you know the things you want to worry about but just remember that if you feel like it's too daunting write it down write down how a mountain can be smaller steps like say you have a big project you want to do at home like put up the christmas tree or something like that or you know get a wrap presents or buy presents you know whatever it is break it down into smaller steps it'll make it that much easier and you'll, you'll still make progress even if you only do one percent i know i'm going around in circles and keep repeating that but that's what has always helped me and i, I help it helps you guys friends because you know we're in the holidays things are stressful as they are um there's things we can do things we can't do but the ones you can tackle just realize you are more capable than you know so continue with your breathing focus back on your breath as it enters your nostrils and leaves your nostrils just remember you are more capable than you think you are you can do it and i believe in you so guys thank you so much for joining me tonight i really appreciate you coming out but yeah i hope you guys follow and subscribe wherever you're at um i love doing this guided meditation and i hope it helps you guys too because it helps me 100 percent um but yeah usually i stream every tuesday night so we're gonna be coming to the end of our stream so feel free to open your eyes um come back to reality so to speak <laughs> thank you guys so much for the compliments i really really appreciate that <laughs> I'm so glad you guys are here and I hope you guys join me again next time soon because you know we're all in this together that's what Animal Crossing is all about helping each other out giving each other things helping other people out and um, being there for everyone else oh my god guys thank you so much for the stars oh my god so the alerts are off so I'm gonna turn them back on now so I hope you guys got enough of your relaxation <laughs> maurice thank you so so much for the 500 stars i really really appreciate that annalisa thank you so much for the 50 stars too she's on a four week streak thank you so much annalisa it is my absolute pleasure pleasure title wave to be doing this thank you i i, I all about spreading love and happiness and uh, helping people relax you know because there's enough negativity out there we're here to relax and maybe dance a little bit <laughs> Maurice, thank you, thank you so much. So, guys, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm gonna see who else is live tonight. I think um, uh, Demonic Born might still be on. Lisa with the 50 stars. Thank you so much, my friend. Yeah, where is Demonic Born? Is he streaming right now? Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah. So let's go ahead and raid his channel. If you guys want to play some Among Us, do check out his channel. My friend Demonic Born Gaming is doing some Among Us tonight. Um, but yeah, check him out. Give him a follow. Uh, like I said, I'll see you guys next time. Kim, thank you so much for the follow. The next time I'm going to be streaming is Thursday. Thursdays are sus days here on Dorky Awesome Guy. We'll be playing some Among Us. So it's not quite as stress relieving. It's a little bit more stressful because, you know, it's Among Us. And then if you want to play some games, we do have party games on Saturdays. Every Saturday night is game night online here. We play Jackbox games. We've introduced code names recently. So it's all about fun and coming together here on my channel. So thank you guys so much for following. Thanks for subscribing wherever you're at. Facebook, YouTube, Twitch. You guys have a good night. Relax. And don't forget, like I said, you are more capable than you know. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs>